artists take control of distribution of rap music. I said, oh boy, do you know what you're going up against? Do you understand the organized criminal networks you're going up against and the two major enemy groups that run it? He said, yeah, we do. I said, well, you and Biggie can't do no shit like this. He said, we're not alone. We are organizing other young rappers. And he was dead within 48 hours of that conversation I had. Because they looked up and said, oh shit, he has the power of influence beyond anyone in that industry. And he has the courage to use that influence. And they moved to take it away from him. You heard Michael Jackson calling some people up for Michael was murdered. He was trying to tell you. Sam Cooke was calling him up for Sam was murdered. He was trying to tell us. We haven't been listening. I told I talked to Brother Tupac two days before he was killed. He said, but I want you to know that the rift between me and Biggie, that ain't real. He said, they created that. He said, Prof, what me and Biggie want to do is take control of distribution of rap music. I said, oh boy, do you know what you're going up against? Do you understand the organized criminal networks you're going up against and the two major ethnic groups that run it? He said, yeah, we do. I said, but well, you and Biggie can't do no shit like this. He said, we're not alone. We are organizing other young rappers. And he was dead within 48 hours of that conversation I had. Because they looked up and said, oh shit, he has the power of influence beyond anyone in that industry. And he has the courage to use that influence. And they moved to take it away from him. You heard Michael Jackson calling some people up for Michael was murdered. He was trying to tell you. Sam Cooke was calling him up for Sam was murdered. He was trying to tell us. We haven't been listening. I talked to his brother. Yeah, Shalom, Shalom. This is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever so be it. Giving our praises, our honor and our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai Bahashom, Wachaha Chodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone. Who watch over our souls, Shalom to the Yakim, who are worthy, are sincere, and serious doing the will of Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai Bahashom, Wachaha Chodash. Second Peter chapter one verse one or two to you all stay strong, stay mighty. I'm the brother the disciple Kusha and Yamia from the branch and great millstone Barbados. Let me just listen. Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the same people? Literally the same people who own the labels own private prisons. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry but they didn't make you write those lyrics it's not about making somebody write the lyrics it's about being there as guardrails to make sure certain songs make it through and certain songs don't some records are made by committee meaning record company guys sit around and tell the artists this is hot say that do this we're gonna have this guy write the lyrics we're gonna have that you have, you know, the record company pushing the narrative. You know, some social engineering going on here to make sure those prisons stay full. The same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the same people? Literally the same people who own the labels own private prisons. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry. Not people. You tribes. Particularly you tribes. You see? Music has a very profound influence on the mind. And if pushed in a dark way, right? If if pushed in a, in a, in a wrong way, it brings out darkness. You see? And that's what you see a lot of our men. The, 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 the music industry in Jamaica too. You see? The music industry in Jamaica. You got Vibes Cartel singing about bleaching Beating your skin, getting tattoos, you know what I mean? Um, uh, artists like Lady Saw and, and, and all these female artists pushing about uh, uh, adultery, you know what I mean? Etc. So the music industry, Esau knows what he's doing. 
with this music industry. You understand? Know I want to get a preset. I want to get a preset. Right? Judith 5, verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in the, against this people and their sin against their power, let us consider that they shall be their ruin, and let us go up and we shall overcome them. So they're keeping us in the midst of sin. You see, you heard, you heard, I got another one I want to show you here, right? So that's what's going on there in the music industry. They're keeping us in the midst of sin. That's right. And everything is coming out about the reason behind. That's something that really hit home about um, this phenomena of chemtrails. And, you know, when I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time and so oh, that's cool the jet just went over and then you started to see a whole bunch of them and the next thing you know everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing and you didn't know why okay and and you really didn't know why i mean everybody was fighting so he he started riffing about the chemtrails all right that on a different subject, but you seeing people, you know, the wickedness of uh, Esau Edom. You see? So, are you heard Ice Cube, the man here, the man here talk about Tupac. You see? Um, and then Ice Cube. Right? Talking about the record labels and the. All them is, con all them is connected to the prison system. And for the destruction of our people. That's right. Yes, yeah, so a lock here a minute. Then again, let me come back. Show sure one. white-owned stations with white-owned sponsors that play the role of hypersexualized, hypercriminalized male. I asked these advertisers, I say, I've got hundreds of songs a day that celebrate killing animals. Will you put them on your station? They said, no. I've got hundreds of songs a day that talk about assaulting women and, 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 and abusing kids. Would you put them on your station? They said, no. I said, I've got hundreds of songs a day that talk about murdering blacks. Would you put them on your stations? They said, well, that depends. Depends on what? Who it's done by and who it's branded for. Because if we can get black folks to sing about it, and we can brand it for our youngest black audiences, I think there's money to be made. I think there's American appetites to see these people that way. I said, how can you say that? They said, well, look, it's what these artists know. It's what they, black people, uh, create. It's a matter of fact, our surveys say it's what they want to hear, which speaks of a sickness. How do we live in a society where somebody says, you know what, I'm inspired to write a song that celebrates murdering another person. And then a person says, I'd like to put that on my station. Another person said, I'd like to pay for it. And then there's people out here in the audience that go, I'd love to hear it, as long as it's black guys. Because even white people buy rap music, buy this type of stuff, because we know that when we want to hear about killing each other, we know who to turn to. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, but, so, um, I forget what this professor name, um, but there's a mindset, um, that the enemies have pushed on our people, 
uh, so much so know that <clears throat> as you hear him say that that's what we want here um, and that's all we know you see that's the surroundings that um, the Edomites have us in right so <clears throat> so like here let me get a precept here Yeah, this is the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 62 verse 4. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. <clears throat> so to see us fall as a nation is their main motivation. Well, you know what? Let me get another preset. I mean, uh, Psalm. Psalms 137. Verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yeah, we wept. May we remember Zion. Behind our hearts upon the villows in the midst thereof. For dear for dear they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us we cried of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How should we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? <clears throat> so they only see us as entertainment. You understand? They only view us as, uh, they see dollar signs when they see us. Because the flavor we bring to each and every avenue you can think of. So back in Psalm 62 verse 4, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly, Selah, right? So, the words were smoother than butter, let me get that, because that with me here, they bless with their mouth. <coughs> Psalm 55, Psalm chapter 55, verse 21, <coughs> the words of his mouth, were smoother than butter so he can deceive you with his words he can entrap you with his words he can get you believing in him he's very good at it but war was in his heart he's, he, he, he only wants to destroy you so called tribes you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans right but war was in his heart his words were softer than oil yet were they drawn swords See, so his words, <clears throat> let how he deceive Eve, he gains a confidence. That way basically saying he gains a confidence, he gains a trust. And then as soon as he sees that you have, that he has your trust, it's when he overthrows you. His words are as smooth as butter, but in his heart is war. His words are soothing as lotion, but underneath are daggers. See? New Living Translation. See? And that way the precept says in the book of um, the Apocrypha, right? <clears throat> you thought that you you rappers that we're focusing upon, you entertainers, you thought that by um, going in the entertainment route, selling your soul, because that's basically what you got to do, you know what I mean? You thought you could have get away from the curses. This woman, I forget her name, she's an actress. Um, working hard for, 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 um, shite money. And then, who the man here, Terrence Howard, he only get 12 grand for a movie he did. So in all avenues, you, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are being <clears throat> taken advantage of. And he's he's really showing his horns when he does things like this to you. But the majority of you can still trust in your enemy. Say so what? 12 and 10. Never trust an enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. 
though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and be rid of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So you will see his true intentions, my Lord. <coughs> Lord, trust him. Because underneath that smile, there is deceit, there is lies, and there is death waiting, big man. There's, a, uh, there's one man, if I, if, I wonder if I can find out, alright, set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, take your position. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, though having as your best friend, you know, you, 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 no, nah, don't do that. Lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. See? And that's where you see all these entertainers coming up now in regards to how they've been pricked, how they've been tricked. See? Right? Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Right? So, Lord, when I went into the hole of the serpent, right? Which is Esau, Edom, right? The music industry, the entertainment industry, sports industry, you name it. Right? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts. So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity so? <clears throat> a lot of these sins are coming out now. Right? And look how this is here. Look. I just, you see, you see look, look at this here. Look. Another Johnny come lately. Tyrese hits red carpet, wearing red dress, showing off wide hips, looking like Oprah. You see, so so you you, you sold your soul, sales for naught. Like I just said, whether it's the entertainment industry, music, acting, sports, a lot of just def you 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 have you have been destroyed by this man's ways just for a fucking paycheck, just for a paycheck. Now look at Hila. It's a disgrace, big man. You was trying to represent men when you were getting through divorce with the slut of woman that you had, right? Now you go on on the red. Now you go on the red cap and a rain of red dress. Like that is an abomination in the eyes of the Lord, big man. You see, you see that way. You see that way. Never really looked up to now. One of athletes, now one of the entertainers. Yeah, you sing good songs, but the, the beats, but the lyrics behind it always had me. Me being right here in um, the Caribbean islands, I would listen to um, the the reggae songs from Jamaica. You know me, Luciano. Uh, um, uh, Luciano, Capleton, you name it, but in Sizzler, but in all those songs, there was always Tumbo Selassie, and that always had me. You say, like, how could he be? You know what I mean? It was, it was always a question in my mind. Say, always a question in my mind until I found this truth. That's why I never really looked at another one. But when I found this truth, or, or Selassie, like when the Lord slapped me and wake me up, it been oh shit. Everything made sense. So now I look to my savior, Yahweh Shah Yamashiach, man. Not you fucking athletes and you entertainers, man. You sold yourselves for not. They want to get that preset, man. You sold yourselves for not, man. They want to get that preset, man. <coughs> they want to get that preset, man. You sold yourselves for not, man. You sold yourselves for not, big man. You spell not wrong. Isaiah 52 verse 3. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. That's the Lord's name, or caps there, Yahweh. <coughs> you have sold yourselves for not. And ye shall be redeemed without money. You thinking that living this lifestyle, getting the NBA contract, getting the 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 record deal, getting the the acting gig, that you was redeemed. Money can't redeem you. The scripture says money is a defense. So yeah, you might got a bigger host than me, or three or two or three or four or five more hoses than me, or any other average J out there. Yeah, you might got couple more zeros in your bank account more shoes more women but you have not been redeemed from your current captivity you are still a slave 
you're a high paying slave, a Negro at that, a high paying Negro slave in this man's system, big man. A lot of money can take that karagma. A lot of money can take that karagma, man. <clears throat> a lot of money can take that karagma. You, so you thought money could have could have saved you. Now nah, I mean, you should be redeemed without money. Is that right? <clears throat> <clears throat> Isaiah 52 verse 3 in the New Living Translation for this is what the Lord says when I sold you into exile I received no payment now, can, now I can redeem you before having to pay for you our translation really kick it but you get the point with the original translation see right? you should be redeemed without money see right? so going back here Right? To the to to two part thing he could um <laughs> control and distribute the rap music, not knowing that these Jews they control the quote unquote Jews, these Jewish control everything, brother. Job nine twenty four, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Bill Cosby tried it, tried it by NBC. What happened? Man, they slaughtered him, man. They slaughtered him. This is not your place of rest. Micah 2 verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a soul destruction. You really thought that this place, you, you could come and make it? No. You are an Israelite <coughs> being held captive in Babylon, big man. You say? You are an Israelite being held captive in Babylon. You say? And the only way you can get redemption, not through money, not through you building a community, is by all Lord Yahweh Shai returning back and giving you the kingdom. But some of you, sadly, we're going to make it on the second time. When I say the second time, you're going to, he's not, you better Lord return, he's not going to abduct, abduct you. See? Right? Unless you're a part of the elect, unless some of you return back. You know what I mean? Some of you entertainers, etc. But it's good to say the Lord's hand is not short and I cannot save. Isaiah 59 verse 1. <clears throat> so if some of you are part of that, yeah, you will enter into the kingdom the first time around. When the Lord comes for us, when he comes for his elect. But the rest of you, you're going to come back when the kingdom is established on earth. You're going to be born in the kingdom through the elect. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to do this short video, man. Right? Just to show you that, look, man, this place is not our rest. The music industry is just here to destroy you, man. Shalom.